If you bought an Insta360 X4 and you were hoping to make amazing virtual tours with Matterport, well, you might have been a bit let down, especially if you had an Apple iOS device. That's because Matterport didn't make the Insta360 X4 compatible with its software for some reason. It was compatible with Android devices, but you were kind of limited to 18 megapixels, not the full 72 megapixels, which is why you would want to use this in the first place. That's because on the 72 megapixel setting, it just ran a bit slow, it seemed to crash a lot, so you kind of had to resort to using the 18 megapixels. But fear not, because RealC has your back. If you don't know what RealC is, well, it's another virtual tour software company, a bit like Massport, because their virtual tours produce those amazing dollhouse virtual tours. And so if you have got an Insta360 X4 or any other 360 camera in that fact, then you'll be able to use RealC to make your virtual tours. I say any other, I mean with Ricoh and Insta360 that is. And I've even been told by the guys at RealC that by the end of August, early September, they'll even have the Insta360 X5 compatible. So it's great to see that they're keeping up with the changes that Insta360 are making. So Matterport, you better pull your finger out because RealC is coming to get you. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you all about how you connect this camera to the RealC software, and then you can get started making those amazing 360 virtual tours with the dollhouse look. Before you get started using the Insta360 X4 with RealC, there is one important setting which you need to adjust, because when I first started doing this, it just didn't make the tour properly, and I had to get in touch with RealC to find out what the problem was. And they told me I had to turn off in-camera stitching in the Insta360 X4. So I'm presuming that's probably the same in all other Insta360 cameras, possibly the Ricoh ones too. But if you have that problem, you wanna follow what I'm about to show you next. So to turn in camera stitching off, you will want to swipe down from the top, go across, find the little settings icon there, the little cog, and then go down to image settings in the middle, click on that, and then image in camera stitching is at the bottom there. Just click on that, that will turn in camera stitching off, and then you are just about ready to go, but there's a few things you just need to sort out first around the property before you start making your tour. So once you've got that in-camera stitching turned off, you're nearly ready to go, but you're gonna to need to download the RealC app first. You can get that from the Google Play or the App Store. And then once you've got that downloaded, you will need to set up an account. Once you've got your account set up, then you will need to connect your device, whether you're using an Insta360 camera or Ricoh, it's pretty much the same. Make sure you've got the Wi-Fi turned on your phone, turn your camera on, go into the settings, and then just link the camera with the phone in the Wi-Fi settings. Once you've done that, go back to the app, and then it should come up, and the little icon in the bottom left, when you click to start tour, you should be able to connect your device there. So once you've got your 360 camera connected to your app, then you're nearly ready to go, but there's just a few things you've got to do around the property first. You will want to go and walk around the property, make sure it's all looking nice and tidy, turn on all the lights, and make sure all the doors are open. That way you're going to be given a clear pathway around the property, and it's going to look nice and bright and clear. And then once that's ready, you're ready to start making your tour, and you'll want to go into the RealC app and then click the scan button at the bottom. So once you're ready to start scanning, the property is done in much the same way as Matterport. So if you've used Matterport before, this will be a doddle. So you've got it set up in the middle of the room on your monopod. You then wanna leave the room and then click scan. Once that's done, it will upload to the app and then you can come back and then you want to just move your camera and monopod just a few paces forward or backward, depending on the size of the room. And then again, leave the room and click scan. There's just a couple more things to consider when doing this, and that includes scanning on the stairs. When you're scanning on the stairs, make sure you're just doing a few steps apart 
and then when you get to the top of the stairs, you want to click on the icon in the top left corner, and then you want to add a new floor. Then you're ready to start scanning that floor too. And also, once you're, when you're doing between rooms, you want to make sure you're doing a scan on one side of the doorway and then another on the other side of the doorway. That way it will see round the doorway and be able to stitch your scan and stitch your plan just perfectly. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go around and scan this whole property now. I'm gonna see you back at the computer and we're gonna take a look at how this real C tour looks shot with the Insta360 X4. So see you in just a click. So once you finish scanning the property, then you just wanna get back onto your Wi-Fi somewhere and upload it. So all you need to do then is click finish on your tour in the top left there. It will come up with the next screen, which says generate. So just click on generate. And then depending on the size of the property, could take sort of an hour, maybe a bit longer. This was quite a large property. So this took about three hours to generate. Once it's ready, you'll get a message in your inbox saying it's ready. And then you're ready to start editing on the Real C editing console. There are a few issues I find with it at the moment. We're going to run through those now. I mean, I'm still on a bit of a learning curve with this, so I'm just going to take you through the basics of how you can build the tour with RealC. So once you've got the email and your tour is ready, you're ready to start editing. So you want to go to realc.ai and then log into your account. So I've got my account here. If you click on console, it will take you to your list of properties. So I've got here the one that I've done. And first of all, you're going to want to uh, click on edit there in the top right and then you'll come up here and the first thing you've got is the info and I've just named this Real C Street. You might want to put, uh, obviously put the address if you need to, a bit of info here and then you can link to possibly the agent website and uh, any more information you need to put along here. So once you're happy with that, you can click save and then one thing that um, is a bit of an issue with Real C at the moment, I find, is doing the exteriors. Because, um, as you'll see here from the 3D model, it does look quite cool because you get the exteriors in the 3D model, something you don't really get with Matterport unless you're shooting with a Pro 3 camera. Um, because with Matterport, you just take individual shots for the outside areas, whereas Real C is done as a scan. So. What I've actually learned now is that you want to do, similar to what you do inside a property, you want to take a shot either side of the door because then it will lead out and you'll easily be able to link it together. But as you'll see here at the front of the property, there's kind of like no way in unless you do it manually yourself. So if I just get around here, if I go to points here, um, I'll come to this in a minute as me, so I'll blur that out in just a moment. Um, so you want to get all your points up here. This is point 38. And if you click on settings, there wasn't any points by, well, there wouldn't be any points linked. It's kind of just guessed one here, point 21, which was on the first floor. But if we do manually connect points, I've got point one here and that was in the entrance hall. So if you click on that, click save. Now, if you click on the door, it does take us inside. So just a, that's one of the little annoyances, I guess, with Real C at the moment. But as I say, I think the best way around that is to do a shot either side of the door. So you might need to take like a shot from far away and then do a shot next to the door uh, to sort of overcome this little thing. Because I had it here as well with the garden. Again, because I shot it around the corner a bit like I did with Matterport in the middle, it didn't instantly read that and I had to kind of align the outside area. But then it was 0.5 here. I then had to like manually select point six. So click save. If I click here now, it does go outside. And then again here, I've had to link point five, but it does all work. But then if I click on the model, I can show you here. Oh, that's it. If we go inside here, because I have clicked done a shot like either side of the doorway, it does show it outside. So you can go in there or for some reason, I think I have deactivated that. There we go. <laughs> so now I can just easily go in and out. And so I think that's what you need to do with Real C if you're shooting outside areas is make sure you've got the door open or at least got the window through the door so you can see through. And so then you can easily go in and out like you do here. One of the little gripe with 
real see at the moment is the 3D model. Generally, it's pretty good. And like I say, I do like the fact that you get the, um, the outside spaces in and it all looks pretty good. But then for some reason with this tour, I've never had it before, but um, there's a hole in the floor. But then if we go in, it isn't there. So not too much of a big deal, but kind of weird that it does appear in the dollhouse. So I will be getting in touch with Realcy just to check about that. But a um, bit like Matterport as well, as I was saying, you can sort of blur bits out. So if you do appear in a window like this, you can get rid of yourself. So I think that is in adjust, is it? Yes, adjust. And then here we've got a list here. So I'll click on blur and then I go down there and then if we click on the brush here and then you can adjust the size. So I'll probably take that down a bit and then I'm gonna sweep. Oh, hang on a sec, it says you've got to press shift and left click and then there we go done and then click save and then that should blurred out and there is actually things here remove camera and i've not actually got any instances of that in this but um it would be quite handy to see how that worked at some point so i will be doing a video going into a bit more detail about all the um all the settings on this a little bit more but that's just a, a brief little run through of how you can put your tour together on RealC. And then once you're ready to send it, you can just uh, click up here. I've actually made this active already, but you, you can just click activate up here. And then once you've done that, a bit similar to Matterport, it'll be active. And then you've got different links you can share, shareable links and embed links. But I hope that's helped anyway, that uh, just, like I say, I'm still on a bit of a learning journey with this at the moment, but um, please let me know your thoughts of what you think so far of RealC. And if you've started using RealC, and also if you want to get your hands on an Insta360 X4 camera or maybe an X5 if that is compatible at the time of watching this then you can use the links below and I've also got links to the RealC website that's not an affiliate link by the way this is a completely unsponsored video but uh, please do check it out give it a go because I do think eventually this will be a really good alternative alternative to Matterport. There's just a few little teething problems I think at the moment, but hopefully they'll be ironed out soon. But thanks for watching guys. And if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do as I'll be doing plenty more videos about RealC and the virtual tour software.